so welcome my dear friends uh, so in the last part i have stopped up to this uh, global stiffness matrix the value of the k is this and then after uh, we are supposed to apply the boundary conditions and uh, what we call the equilibrium equation so equilibrium equation is uh, k into q is equal to f so the value of f you have to put uh, in this particular equation Al already we have uh, what we call as calculated it in this particular page over here then i have put it uh, in place of k and then q q are the nodal displacement that is uh, if you can see in this figure u1 v1 u2 v2 these are the nodal displacements so i have put it in this uh, particular formula equilibrium equation then uh, f instead of f you have forces f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 f6 f7 and f8 so i have to apply boundary conditions so in this figure you can easily see these two uh, these two supports are fixed over here so u1 v1 is 0 and u4 v4 is 0 so i i will put it over here so u1 is equal to 0 v1 is equal to 0 and u4 is equal to 0 v4 is equal to 0 and also uh, here is a roller support so there will be displacement uh, along x axis that is u2 displacement will be there and y displacement will be 0 so it cannot move upward and downward so v2 will be 0 and u2 will return so v2 is equal to 0 i will write it here then <coughs> by eliminating method so you have to just uh, eliminate the rows and columns uh, whatever the nodal displacement will be zero if uh, the nodal nodal displacement will be zero you have to uh, cross that you have to eliminate that uh, row and particular respective column over there so first row i will eliminate first row and first column and second row and second column and third fourth sorry fourth row and fourth column and seventh row and seventh column and 8th row and 8th column now the remaining things you just write it here that is 5.25 0 0 and 0 7.93 2.01 and 0 2.01 and 8.5 so this will be our third 3 cross 3 matrix and the remaining things are u2 and u3 and v3 v3 over here and also respect to forces that is f3 and f5 and f6 so values are f3 the value of f3 is given <clears throat> so this is f3 f3 is 2000 2000 over here and also f6 f6 is also given that is uh, 2500 but in downward direction that is it is in negative 2500 then after you just have to multiply this matrix and then solve it into, uh, into the calculator Kelsey so also my dear friends this f5 f5 is 0 over here so f5 I will put it 0 and also uh, 10 raised power 9 in, on this side huh? okay 10 raised power 9 then after I will uh, try to solve it so see so friends you have to just uh, solve this matrix in this manner that is 5.25 into u2 so 5.25 into u2 and rest things are 0 0 into u3 is 0 0 into v3 is 0 so it will be equal to f3 that is 2000 and also 10 raised power 9 is here you can directly transfer it on the right hand side it will become 10 raised power 9 and 5.25 u2 is equal to 2000 into 10 power minus 9 when you just uh, change the numerator and uh, change the denominator over here so then 0 into u2 is 0 7.93 into u3 7.93 into u3 plus 2.01 into v3 2.01 into v3 is equal to fi is 0 and also 10 power 9 is here so it will become 0 in, uh, when you transfer it then 0 into u2 is 0 2.01 into u3 2.01 into u3 plus 8.5 into v3 8.5 into v3 is equal to minus times 2500 then after solving in in the cal calculator so just go through the mode and fifth number is the equation so just opt to the uh, second option so second is there so this is the third cross uh, three cross three matrix so just put the values over here so this is the first equation second and third so value of u2 that is 5.25 5.25 and rest things are 0 u3 and v3 are 0 in this equation that is 0 is equal to 0 is equal to also uh, 2000 2000 into 10 power minus 9 
so then in this equation u2 is 0 0 is equal to u3 is 7.93 sorry 7.93 into 10 power 9 is equal to this 2.01 into 10 power 9 is equal to 0 is equal to 2 point sorry u2 is 0 is also in this term so 0 is equal to 2.01 into 10 power 9 so here 10 power 9 is there friends 10 power 9 so 10 power 9 is equal to 8.53 into 10 power 9 8.51 8.51 into 10 power minus 9 minus 9 is here also uh, in this in upper equation 2 into 10 power minus 9 is there sorry sorry in 10 power 9 10 power 9 is there which will be equal to uh, minus 2500 so the solution is in front of you so first one u2 is equal to 3.80 into 10 power minus 7 and u3 will be equal to 7.920 into 10 power minus minus 8 and u uh, sorry v3 which will be equal to uh, minus 3.1247 uh, into 10 power minus 7 so these are the nodal displacements so friends uh, these are the nodal displacement then you have to calculate the citrus so there is the formula for citrus so citrus 1 that is sigma 1 is equal to e by l1 into minus l minus m l m then for first element you already know what are the nodal displacements that is u1 v1 and u2 v2 so right here u1 v1 u2 v2 just you have to put the values here what is the uh, value of Young's modulus that is 2 into 10 gpa that is uh, 210 into 10 power 9 also le1 is given that is length is given 4 into minus l also 1 is given l is equal to 1 minus 1 minus sorry m is 0 here then 1 and m is also 0 so u1 u1 is also 0 and v1 is also 0 u2 is we have calculated it here that is 3.80 <clears throat> into 10 power minus 7 then v2 v2 is also 0 over here then it will be equal to just uh, multiply 210 into 10 power 9 upon 4 minus 1 into 0 is uh, 0 0 into 0 is 0 1 into 380 that will be 380 into 10 power minus 7 so just uh, calculate the values in the calculator so just 210 into 10 power 9 upon 4 into uh, 3 3.80 into 10 power minus 7 which will be equal to 19950 so citrus 1 is equual to 19950 then for uh, sigma 2 which will be equal to e by l e2 into minus l minus m l m so dear friends uh, for the second element you see here second element uh, there are nodal displacement u2 v2 and u3 v3 so write it here u u2 v2 u3 v3 over here then after that you just put values here so sigma 2 is equal to e 210 into 10 power 9 upon le2 le2 is given that is 3 over here so just 3 and for second element l is 0 and m is 1 so 0 minus 1 0 1 into u1 and sorry u2 u2 is given 3.80 3.80 into 10 power minus 7 then uh, v2 is 0 and u3 is given 7.920 into 10 power minus 8 and uh, v3 is also minus 3.1247 into 10 power minus 7 so sigma 2 is equal to this uh, 210 into 10 power 9 upon 3 into 0 into uh, this term that is 0 minus 1 into 0 that is 0 0 into this term is 0 1 into uh, this term so this will be minus 3.1247 
into 10 power minus 7 just calculate it also in the calculator so it will be uh, 210 into 10 power 9 by 3 into uh, minus 3.12 into 10 power minus 7 which will be equal to minus times 21840 newton per millimeter square then after sigma 3 so sigma 3 is equal to uh, e e divided by l1 e divided by l3 sorry so 210 into 10 power 9 upon l3 is given that is 5 over here 5 then minus l so for third element that is minus 0 0.8 minus 0 0.8 but uh, formula minus l is there so it will become plus then m is minus 0 0.6 it will become positive 0 0.6 and this will become minus 0 0.8 and minus 0 0.6 into for third element what are the nodal displacements for third element this is the third element nodal displacements are u3 v3 and u1 v1 so it will become u3 v3 u1 v1 so solve this and 210 into 10 power 9 upon 5 which will be equal to uh, this u3 u3 is we have calculated it that is 7.920 into 10 power minus 8 over here you just see 10 raised power minus 8 then v3 it is also calculated which is equal to minus 3.1247 into 10 power minus 7 and u1 is also 0 v1 is 0 so just mul cross multiply it so 0 0.8 into th this term i will try to solve it 0 0.8 into 7.920 into 10 power minus 8 which will be equal to 6.336 into 10 power minus 8 and next term will be 0 0.6 into this 0 0.6 into uh, 3.12 into 10 power sorry into 10 power minus 7 which will be equal to but minus minus is here minus 1.872 into 10 power minus 7 so by putting in the cal calculator you will get it solo here it will be 210 10 power 9 upon 5 bracket start 6.33 into 10 power minus 8 minus 1.872 into 10 power minus 7 bracket close which will be equal to this uh, minus times 5.5203.8 newton per millimeter square over here then last stress that is sigma 4 is equal to 210 into 10 power 9 upon l4 l4 is also given which is uh, 4 over here so 4 minus l so l is given minus 1 so it will become positive 1 here then m is 0 so 0 the uh, next one is l so it will become minus 1 m is 0 then for fourth element you already know what are the nodal displacements that is u3 v3 u4 v4 just write it u3 v3 u4 v4 then multiply it that is 210 into 10 power 9 upon 4 1 into u3 that is u3 value is given for v, uh, u3 that is 7.920 into 10 power minus 8 and 0 into this term 0 minus 1 into u4 u4 is uh, already so sorry this is u4 now huh? u4 is uh, 0 here just because uh, the fixed support is there so u4 is 0 so it will become minus 1 into 0 is 0 0 into this term is 0 so already the on, only this term will be returned here so in the calculator just solve it okay to 10 10 power 9 upon 4 into 7.920 into 10 power minus 8 it will be equal to 4158 that is 4158 newton per millimeter square over here so sigma 4 so we have calculated all the stresses in this problem and also nodal displacement they will ask you in the question uh, just calculate the stress uh, for this uh, truss analysis and uh, just calculate the nodal displacements so all problem is over i hope you like this video my dear friends so just share it with your uh, batch mates so that they can also avail benefits from this particular truss problem which is the most important problem as far as vtu is concerned thank you for watching this video